reporting live from Gem Rock from my backyard. Welcome back, Noble family. So I've been in Jamaica for a little over a month now. Um, so I'm just going to talk about some nuances, some culture clashes, things I've had to get used to. Like right now, I don't have any water. I do have a water tank in my backyard, but I'm not sure if there's no water in it or I just don't know how to use it. And then, I don't know. I just, I buy gallons of water. So, that's what I use. And that's what I'm using today. <laughs> that has been one of the biggest adjustments. My water has not stayed on consistently since I've been here. So, the longest I've been without, like, a water disruption. And it's not because I'm not paying my bills. This is an island thing. So, if you do stay at someone's Airbnb, please... Uh, show them grace because there's nothing that they can do luckily I don't have problems with um, my electricity I haven't had any um, outages or any problems with that since I've been here and I have flow for a Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi is pretty strong as well haven't had any complaints in that area so yeah the water has been one of the biggest adjustments um, as we all know, I am rich in spirit, love, and support, but um, not in finances at this current moment. <laughs> so, um, your girl has been taking root taxi. That has been an adventure within itself. So, I stay up in the hills. Um, I plan on staying in this house for a while. So, I was going to give an empty house tour. Um but because i just yeah i don't know mm -mm. i was just like it eh, skirt skirt not gonna happen i'm a private person so i'm trying to like as share my experiences with people without exposing so much of my life at the same time um how am i gonna do this <laughs> come along for the journey <laughs> we're gonna figure it out and it start raining but this is jamaica so it will definitely be raining right now and it could possibly stop or it could just start raining harder but we already in motion so we gonna keep it keep it doing what it doing <laughs> all right so it's been five minutes <laughs> and the rain has stopped let's see i have a water drop <sighs> That is one thing I can count on. So let me see if we can get this out the way before it starts back raining. Because there it go. <laughs> there it goes. All right. So I got people to ask me some questions. Because I don't like answering the same question over and over. So you ask and then I'll tell. Perfect. Even though I know it's still going to be a thousand people asking um, still. I can be like go to YouTube. It'll be much easier. All right. Jada Waiter. <laughs> no, we said we was going to stop calling you that. Um, my bestie. That's my real bad. Got her wrong. Okay, so. <laughs> she's wow. Already. Um, she asked me about the alphabet community. No, I have not uh, found my tribe yet. <laughs> um, grocery shopping. What is grocery shopping like? So, you know, you see all of these YouTube videos. And it's like, how is it to shop in Jamaica? And, First of all, y'all not going to ever see a video like that from me. I might show you like a haul like after I done live. Let me not say never. Give the people what they want. But this is not something that I would enjoy doing. I would literally do it only if requested. Because I don't like it. I have to go to 15 stores for one meal. Um, I'm trying to stop saying all. Um, I have to go to 50, um, 50 million stores. Then it's like, I don't know if they stock once every three months, but then when they do stock, restock, people like hoard it. <sighs> Turkey bacon is $10. Y'all know I don't eat beef or pork and I, I not, or goat. So <laughs> I only eat chicken and turkey and seafood. So I'm chickened out. I'm, I'm telling you, I done had chicken every way possible. So I be wanting a little turkey and I guess. They don't have any turkeys here because I am about to start me a farm. Like, I'm about to get me some turkeys and start breeding them or something because that is outrageous. So, yeah, I'm going to bring me some next time I come. I'm going to put it in my suitcase. I'm going to freeze it, put it in my suitcase because 
as we all know, it's only a three hour plane ride um, here from North Carolina. Somebody said, how the locust treating you? They love me, baby. They love me. <laughs> um, I be by myself for the most part. I have a few expat associates. Y'all know I ain't really too big on the word friend. And I be by myself. I've met up with one person from the Black Expats and Repats um, group that's on Facebook. They said they're going to a new platform, but you can still join them right now and then you can get all the info. So that was really cool. Um, what does she say? What is one of the hardest adjustments I've had to make? Not having my car in the water is the biggest thing. I have to wait for someone. Y'all, I be waiting on the side of the road. Like, all right. So, I don't want to offend nobody. You got to understand, I am American. So, Uber just come picks us up from our house. Uh, the bus stop is a bus stop. We stand at the bus stop. And, yeah. I be standing on the side of the road. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I'm a street walker. Like I would not do that at home. So I just be standing there waiting for a red plate. So white plates. Those are just regular drivers. Red plates are licensed taxi drivers. So when you come here. Unless you know the person in the white plate. Do not get in their car. Some people be hustling and they be getting that money and I be supporting them because I be knowing them personally. But I'm not just going to get in any random white plate car. Just like I wouldn't do it in America. Like, it just doesn't make sense. So, that is the overall um, adjustment. I have not made any new friends as of yet. I haven't seen one of my friends I want to see. <laughs> We're going to leave that right there. I'm pretty sure they'll be watching this. How has living in Jamaica changed your outlook on living overall? I am not as materialistic. Like, I remember, first of all, my shower's cold. So, you know, we keep getting back on this water issue. But, let me tell you, you don't have water for three days. But that, that cold shower was the best thing. I just, it was so much gratitude after complaining for five weeks about having to take a cold shower. Man, I got tired of taking, um, what do you call it? Y shots. Yeah, no, I, I want to take a shower. I want to take a bath. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much how that is. My favorite thing to do in Jamaica is to go to the beach. And I know people are like, huh? And most of Jamaicans don't really like the beach like that. Like, for real, for real. That's not something that they do weekly or maybe not even monthly especially depending on where they live at but i enjoy going to the beach that is something i like to do and of course i like to eat <laughs> is it what i thought it would be yeah um i've done my recon so like when the water went out my best friend was here and i was like yeah i'm mentally prepared for this <laughs> like i was mentally prepared so yeah, I was just like, this is what, this, this is, can't have, paradise ain't always, you know, sweet. Not, not always. But we ain't tripping. Um, easiest thing to get used to. The easiest thing to get used to is, um, accepting that this is not America. Like, I don't know why people think they can come to another place and say, well, back home they don't do this, or they don't do this, or they don't. Of course, when in Jamaica, I do as the Jamaicans, as much as possible, you know, I'm still... I got, got a lot of Babylon in me. So, what have you been presently surprised by? All right, so look, y'all. I did something that I would not suggest y'all do. And I had my realtor, you know, get my place and everything. I pretty much, I knew where the neighborhood was at. 
kind of sorta. Um, but I had never seen my place. I spent my money and everything. So I didn't know if I was gonna like this neighborhood. And I'm in a year lease. <laughs> Baby, talk about faith. Everybody knows I'm a spiritual person. So the cards don't lie. My intuition, my discernment. I trust myself now more than I've ever um, I ever have. So I just found out my solar return was actually last February, not this February. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm gonna get two more questions and we're gonna wrap this up. Have I stayed at any resorts? Yes, I have stayed at resorts. I've stayed at Rio. I've stayed at Albero Star. Do not recommend. I've stayed at Sandals. I love Sandals. Adam Stewart. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. This he probably married. Yeah, I don't do married men. My favorite activity other than eating and going to the beach is um the I have a medical card. <laughs> no, but for real. I, I have a medical card, so um, I like to release my pain in my back and healing. Um, yeah, that part. I like the chief keef. That's probably one of my favorite activities. And it's not an arm and a leg. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going just back to these, these other prices. I'm also looking for a helper when I come back because y'all don't know how to hand wash clothes. That's something I do want to learn how to do, but I don't know how to do it. So definitely looking for a helper i don't have a washer and dryer machine hooked up in my house so me washing clothes here is just not gonna be realistic and the, these floors whatever tiled floors listen i ain't never felt this dirty in my life. <laughs> i be cleaning them little floors my feet still be black i'm like oh, okay no wonder I used to meet men, and they used to be like, oh, nice skin and all stuff. And I used to just be looking like, I guess that's a compliment. I knew it was a compliment, but at the same time, it's like, nice, clean skin. Try, the fuck you trying to say I'm dirty? But she might be. <laughs> Noble Empress out. I will see you guys soon.